Yo, what's up guys? I'm Dan. I'm back with another craft brew review. Rolling deep with Parish Brewing Ghost in the Machine 12 ounce bottle. Um, shout out to Kevin, by the way, for giving me the Parish Brewing. Got uh, Atticus Atlas, a couple of these bad boys. Uh, fresh out of Louisiana, guys. Bottle on 12 4 18. I'm up in Michigan. I'm not mad. This is under a month old. Um, and happy New Year's Eve, guys. It's a New Year's Eve edition. Uh, Rolling with some haze craze again. Haven't haven't been doing too many hazies. It is stout in this season, so um, now we're running past it. But it's still the winter time. It's snowing out here in Michigan. It's crazy. So, anyways, let's roll on. We've got brewed and bottled by Parish Brewing out of uh, Brassard, Louisiana. Um, yeah, twelve four guys. Highly rated. I think it's a four point three one on Untapped, and they've been doing this one for a while. They're really known for it. I'm gonna go for the pop there. Pretty cool. I love the label. It's great artwork, guys. It's just a really slick label. There's a DDH version of it, a double dry hopped holographic front, but this one is just the regular. Right out of the neck. Juice bomb alert, guys. Tons of citrus, pine. Some kind of earthy quality in there. Yeah, guys, it's just a juice bomb. Just super hoppy flavor. Uh, smelling and, and uh, yeah, I mean, I should read the back real quick. Uh, Welcome to the future. Our collective human consciousness or ghost in the machine has gained a tolerance for hops beyond what mankind has ever known before. This double India pale ale is the necessary outcome. Yeah, it's there's hops on it, guys. You can smell the hop abundance in there. Let's go for the pour, and I'm going to share this with my brother. Go for a little bit more. Bam. Nice fluffy white head, uh, bigger bubbles distributed throughout. Dawn soapy consistency clinging to the glass, which you can see. And we've got a lighter OJ, but it's not quite that OJ. Um, absolute dark yellow orange, more of a light straw yellow golden hue to it. Um, but it is indeed a haze beer, guys. It's completely hazy. Um, and it looks great. There's actually a lot of bubbling at the bottom. Looks like there's good carbonation in it streaming to the top. Aroma. Oh man, so, so good. Smells delicious, guys. I'm going to take a little bit more because I want to. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. Um, tons, tons of citrus notes, guys. I mean, we're getting pineapple, mango. Some kind of earthy quality to it, guys. It's not necessarily grassy, but there's some kind of earth component in there. A good amount of pine. And the hot flavor is really just, it's in there, guys. Slushing it around. The head's very, very clingy to the glass. Um, it's a beaut. Let's go for a cheers. Cheers, Parish Brewing. Cheers, Kevin. Thank you for the beer. Very nice. Very nice. Not quite as thick and sticky and um, massively hopped as uh, Atticus Atlas because that one is indeed a triple IPA, which I can indeed tell, guys. It's way thicker than this. Consistency is a lot different than this. This is lighter. This is crisp, clean. Um, the citrus is actually a little bit more abundant in the aroma than it is in the taste. What you really get is a little bit of pine there with the back end bitterness. Um, you're getting like uh, orange rinds and um, grapefruit rinds in this. That's what you're getting predominantly. I'm drinking it really quick. Maybe because it's New Year's Eve and I want a little buzz. But uh, it's really, really tasty, guys. It's crisp, clean, uh, very juicy. Um, I like that it's not overly, overly bitter, but very well balanced with that juiciness in the beginning. Damn near drink the whole thing. Um, but the bitterness really does round out this beer's uh, citrus qualities. A um, little bit of the hint of earth in there. And um, I don't want to say... Yeah, you, you get a lot more um, citrus in the aroma than there is actually in the taste, guys. But it is indeed a fabulous beer. I really, really enjoy Parrish's Ghost of the Machine. Um, I would say this is a little bit below Atticus Atlas just because I got more citrus out of that one. 
but this one has nice citrus skin rind um, very nice pine presence and that nice back end bitter finish which I really really like in hazy beers that, that when it's not overly sweet um, my palate's a little bit more tolerable to, to drinking this and as you can see I pretty much just crushed everything I poured in here mm. it's very very tasty um, nice and fresh which that changes a lot being fresh out of the glass really nice lacing on the sucker you can tell it has nice alcohol eggs it's eight and a half percent alcohol um, and it's a killer beer guys it's really really well done and uh, Parrish kills the haze game guys it's what they're known for um, and they all around do great beer so if you're ever down there go give them a try when I go down there I am 100% going because I love what they produce year in and year out guys um, I'm gonna call it there it's New Year's Eve edition um, if you haven't please go like comment and subscribe on my videos I'd really really appreciate it guys um, I'm bringing good quality content with with a lot of beers that everybody really likes in the game so um, do me a favor hit that like button other than that guys I will see you in the next year I'm Dan craft brew dude over and out we'll see you on the next one cheers